I see, I see. Just because I'm the woman, I've got to kick her out of her. Well, you're not kicking her out. You're just suggesting she moves on. No, I'm not doing anything. All right. So, you know, here, yeah, Andrew, here's a shoulder to cry on. It's all right, we won't tell Lloyd you're a cheating cow. Oh, oh yeah, Andrew, won't you sleep on our sofa while I just tell Lloyd that he's in the back here? Good luck when he finds out. Still voiding him, are you? OK. Oh, good. Put some clothes on first. We get actually, no, second thoughts. If anything's going to run her out of town, that will. Thought I heard you. Breakfast ready. Only if you're hungry. Are they going to be sausages? It's only way I could think of to say thanks. Michelle? Look, I know how awkward this is. The last thing I want is to make things worse for Lloyd. Yeah, um, about that. Have you had any more thoughts about what you're going to do? I just keep waiting for my head to get straight. And right now, it just keeps reminding me of what I've done. I've got nothing, Michelle. Well, let's just forget about that, eh, for now, and uh, let's enjoy this lovely breakfast. Don't waste your energy, love. Come here. Look, we'll get a clearer picture of where we're at with the hearing tomorrow after they've done the sums, okay? Yeah, well, let's hope they've got a big abacus. <laughs> hey, that's for Faye. Hey, stop worrying. Yeah, listen to your son. All right? Now we smile, we hug, and I say, have a good day at work. Oh, come on, come on, smile. Yeah, I'm smiling. Mm -hmm. Hug. Okay. okay. And have a good day at work. All right, see you later. Yeah, see you later. If only it was that simple, mate. What do you mean? Well, it's 24 hours before the hearing, and half of these are from bailiffs who want their pound of flesh. So what are you going to do, just hide behind the sofa all day yes, and night? that's exactly what I'm going to do. While I get in contact with everyone I've ever met to see if they need a man with a van. A uh, middle-aged man with a van? Yeah, well, says the little boy with a lollipop. If we can prove that we've got some work coming in, no matter how small, OK, maybe they won't make us bankrupt. birthdays. I mean, when you were a child, you can't get enough of them. I remember I was desperate to be seven. I don't know why. And that, the petition? You must uh, sign, Audrey. The councillor closing the library. I bet the last time I was there, it was like a playgroup for the possessed. Toddlers bigger than me went in around screaming for sugar and cartoon jellyfish. It is a vital community resource. They're probably closing it down for noise pollution. It'll be more cuts. I mean, they cut your feet off if you stood still too long. Come on, where do I sign? Shouldn't have one, really. We're going out for dinner tonight, you know, to the Thai restaurant with the neon fish tank. Have you and Owen ever been? No, it's next on our list after the luxury trip to Barbados. The number of signatures is woefully low. Well, perhaps Jasmine is right. It's a futile exercise. Oh, well, why do you say that? People have more pressing problems than acquiring the latest opus. People are struggling to survive. The, the small town library is hardly on the top of anyone's list of things keeping them awake at night. What's on the top of yours? Hmm? We're out of peas. I reminded you three times, including this, so... Right, what's on top of yours? What's on your mind, love? Peas? I've got to Dev's. <sighs> All right. I'll be here. I'll be back in a few hours. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Cheers. I just wondered if uh, you drinking the Rover's return. Uh, only uh, somebody told me uh, an old schoolmate of mine's running it. Hey, Steve. Married, is he? <laughs> well, I'm uh, not sure you're his type. <laughs> Why, what's his time? I don't know. He's an open-minded bloke, so good luck to you. And I'm not sure what his missus would say either. <laughs> ah. So he is married, then? Say what, mate? If I didn't need this job so bad, I'd be right over there looking for a front-row seat. Listen, are you sure that driving all that way and back for a few quid's really going to make any difference? Gary, anything's better than nothing. Oh, and remember, when Stan's dropped that delivery off, don't leave it lying around. If your mum finds it, she'll go mad. OK. And get Faye out of the pit, will you? Thanks for doing this, OK? It's not like I'm snowed under her work, is it? Oh, come on, Jason will be in touch. You know what the trade's like. You'll be mad busy next week. You won't be able to blow your nose. See ya. This should tide you over. I'll get to the cash and carry. Oh, well, hang on, wait here. Look, four more names while you were gone. See, good day. Eh? Oh, Roy, you know what? Just because I've cried on your shoulders doesn't mean that mine are no good. It's 23rd of July, 2013. 
This is the day we found out that they really had cancer. Oh. Do you know how sentimental she was? You know, if I tried to throw away old birthday cards, she'd snatch them from my hand, promise to recycle them. Months later, I'd find them stuffed away in drawers, cupboards, suitcases, well. And that. She gave that to me a few days after the diagnosis. When your feet grow weary, I will carry you. Yeah, I thought you'd gone out with the rest of them. Well, this is a sign from Ailey. She knew you. She knew that when you believed in something, you fight for it, no matter what anybody else thinks. She might not be at your side down at that library, but she'd definitely have your back. This is her telling you to show them what you're made of till they're all tired of hearing it. That's what you do, isn't it? You know? You can't do it for yourself anymore. You do it for them, don't you? Tanya, you call this? You know, when I was your age, I'd have run a half marathon and done a shift down the mine by now. It's the holidays. Anyway, what are you doing here? Babysitting. No one's got a driving job. I don't know why you bother. I only came down for something to eat. I'm going back to bed. I never for anything to eat in this house anyway. Oh, give over. Ah. All right, I'll go, Devs. Beans on toast, all right? I'll go. Oh, yeah, cut to you hanging around the arcade till all hours and me getting an earful from Mum. No, you sit and stay. Don't look like a dog. Don't answer that. Right, and listen, I'm being serious now. Ignore that. One minute. I'm listening. Don't answer the door to anyone. Unless it's Stan. Who's Stan? Oh, he's just dropping off some stock for Owen to deliver next week. So unless it's him, answer the door to no one, OK? Like you? No one. Not even Stan? Faye. Why? What's happening? Nothing. Just don't let anyone in that you don't know. And behave yourself. What are you doing? Lloyd. Nick. Building a rockery. Great. Hopefully a plan for every season, so there's always something to look forward to. Well, I've got to look forward to some creamy toffees and horse racing on the TV. You're in your finest hour. You're right, Lloyd. Yeah. Hope you appreciate how much work he's putting in. Oh, Lloyd. He's love, Lord. We've all been there. Mm. My mum's having uh, birthday drinks later at the bistro. You're more than welcome. I doubt I'm welcome there at all, let alone for a family function. Hardly a function. Anyway, I, I owe you a drink for all of this. First rockery. Maybe another time. Thanks for thinking about me anyway. OK. Oh, uh, I meant to say, my friend Neville, totally legit, honest, well, he's put his back out of kilter hoisting a gas can. He, he works in catering. He's laid up for the summer, so he's asked me if I'll help out. Oh. Does that mean you leave in streetcar? No, that's the great thing. Yeah, I can fit one in with the other. Oh. <laughs> well, catering's a wide field. <laughs> Any clues? If I gave everything away, I'd lose all my intrigue. <laughs> Not even a little hint? Not one. So, two jobs, a good friend. If you told me a couple of months back that my life would turn around like this, I'd, I'd have laughed in your face. You deserve it. And you'll have to come for a drink now. Double <laughs> celebration. OK. You're on. I'll go find something nice to wear. Yeah. Oh, quick. <laughs> Get a fishing net. If we hurry, we can save it. <laughs> oh, are you here for Owen? Come in. Oh, no, 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 no. Oi! Mum or Dad in? I thought... Ow! Ow! Who are they? Owen Armstrong. We're from SRC Debt Recovery, and we're here to recover outstanding liabilities totalling £5,480. All goods to that effect. You can't just barge in here. We were invited in. What, by a kid? And as I'm sure you're aware, unless payment is received immediately, we will start removing property. No, I don't believe this. Just get out, will you? Are you able to make a payment?
Come on, pick up. Hey, that's mine! Leave her alone, will you? Shriving the police. Hey. You're welcome to call them. They'll be keen to see this happens as smoothly as possible. What's that supposed to mean? Sir, this debt is increasing every minute on stud here. Can you try Mr Armstrong again? Yeah, well, he's not picking up, is he? Well, your sister's obviously distressed. We could take part payment from him. For five grand? We need to get the debt reduced now if you don't want us to start removing property. We can take debit card payments. It doesn't have to be some big drama. How much? Why don't you suggest an amount? Oh, I don't know. I, I don't know. If, if I speak to my mum, maybe, maybe 80 quid, 100 quid, something like that. Get serious, sir. Fair. Fair! Fair! Look, just please let me try him one more time, OK? I bought you some more of that conditioner that I borrowed because you were nearly out. Oh, thanks. Oh, and I'll tidy up because it takes my mind off things. There's no need. We've got a cleaner. It's OK, yeah. I'll run the vacuum round if it helps. Do you know, I actually feel a bit sorry for, uh, uh, Liz, you've been saying that you can't stand the sight of... Lloyd! Lloyd! Oh, come here. Oh. Michelle, could you just check I've taken that spud out of the microwave? Spud? What? Yeah, yeah, the last thing we need is a, another exploding potato. <gasps> Get it out. Right out, OK? Oh, yeah, all right. Hey, come on, come here, you. Sit down. I'm going to wait on you. Drink. Yeah, cheers, thanks. What do you mean there's people in our house? I'm wanting money. Gary? I'm warning you. You get out of my house now. And I am warning you to calm down. Is everything all right? Mum, they want cash now or they're taking everything. It's my fault. Gary told me, but I was too busy on my phone. The outstanding debt up to now is £5,480. Does the van belong to you? That is for my work. You got that. £5,000? Are you able to make a significant payment immediately? No. Well, then, I'm sorry, but we will have to start removing oh, goods. No, please, please just give us till tomorrow, please. You want please. it paid off, don't you? You keep ignoring it, it's only going to get worse. This might help. You're having a laugh. Look at you. You come round here ripping people's lives apart, and for what, eh? A few grand's nothing to the bank. You're not taking our spot! Hey. Hey. Oh. Now, I'm going to let that go, but you need to control your family. Yeah, but, uh, Sally, can you take a face? No, I'm saving hey, come here, Faye. Please, please don't do this to us, please. Just one more day, I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Are you a mum? You... Right, what about this? No, love, please. It's not enough, is it? Um, uh, there's my granddad's ring. Uh, Gary, it's upstairs in my top drawer. No, Will you go and get it for me, please? It's, it's really old, but it might be worth something. I'm, no, don't do that. No, 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 no. No, no, please, please, just take it, please. I'm sorry, love. It, it's just not enough. Sorry, love. It's not a circus. I don't think you need anything. No, thanks. Um, we'll be fine. Yeah. Come on. Come on. I'm so sorry. Come on. Oh, sorry. So I was right. Have you been following me? No, how else can I get in touch with you? You want to answer any of my calls? Andy, I'm, I'm lost without you. But at least I know I'm not going crazy. I knew there was someone else. No, I know who. What? I just needed to see with me on eyes. See what? He won't get away with this. Neil? Neil! You can't go in there! Cheers. Psst. Tell me you've sorted. Yes, the uh, jacket potato, yeah. Sorry. Are you avoiding me, Steve? Uh, no, why would I do that? Uh, Lloyd was just saying how he wishes he had never clapped eyes on her. Who are you? He'll tell you I am. Neil, please. Neil? 
You're that weird airport guy. And you're the man who's ended my marriage. Is this what you left me for? Excuse me? Um, he is way out of her league, thank you. He must have been having some sort of a breakdown. Hey! That's my son you're talking about. How can he sound so proud? Do you know what these two have been up to? Him and my... Oh, I can't even say the words. You're making a fool out of both of us. Just let's just talk. I was expecting some sort of a pumped-up toy boy with a tan. Nearly 20 years of marriage, a beautiful home, and you want to trade it in for him? Steve, but I thought she was Lloyd's partner. So did Lloyd. I haven't touched her. Oh, yeah, well, why did she sleep here last night, then? She slept here. Please, Neil, please stop. This is nothing to do with Steve. It's me, mate. I'm the one you want to knock out. No way. Call yourself a professional. That glass is empty. Well, I haven't popped the cork yet. <laughs> Oh, perfect timing. Mm, perfect. Here we go. Happy birthday, me. Oh, hey, come on. Uh, Nick's just about to pop. Okay, now. Oh, oh careful, stand back. Right. Oh! oh! <laughs> okay, now only the first bottle is on the house. Oh, Nick, that's very generous of you, sweetheart. After that, all the drinks are on me. Right, Michael. Happy birthday. Yes, thank you. Bringing you me on Grant's birthday, you can be so selfish. Until you have children, Nick, you don't know the meaning of the word. This is for you. Oh, no, I already got yours in the post this morning. And it's not from me. <laughs> right, right. With love, David, Kylie, Max and Lily. <laughs> what? Did you write that? <laughs> David and Kylie. Oh, yeah, all the way from Barbados. Come on. It's very unlike them to be so thoughtful. <laughs> I brought you this. It, it's nothing, really. Oh, oh, Michael. Well, well thank you. J Marigold's my absolute favourite. Really? My horticultural sixth sense has done me proud. Yes. Either that or my daughter's had a word in your ear. <laughs> I never said a word. Oh. <laughs> Well, thank you. Uh, Gail tells me that you're working wonders on her front garden. Look, I, I didn't even know you existed until a couple of days ago. And I only found out on the day she was supposed to be moving in with me. Is, is he lying? No, he's not. He had no idea. None of us did. When I said there was no one else, what I meant was... Well, I was still going to leave you even if there wasn't. How many times have we carried on pretending, trying to patch things up? If you're honest with yourself, you know that what we had is gone. We could get it back. Try, at least. I've been trying for years, Neil. She's lied to you for months, mate. Both of us. How could you take her back after that? I can barely look at her. Do you mean that? I didn't really know you at all, did I? Yeah, you did. You knew me better than anyone. So you mean... it's over? You two. Of course it's over. Then he doesn't want you, but I do. Oh, spare me. I always will. Don't I at least deserve a chance? Babe, maybe we should go. Oh, you guys do what you want. I'm off. Hey, listen. Not only do I get lied to and humiliated, I also get to have it shoved down my throat in my own backyard. Thanks, Steve. what Roy's capable of once he's got a bee in his palace. Good on him. Don't get Sally started on that. Anybody would think that turned the place into a borstal. Mm, sure your new boyfriend would explain the difference. He must have been inside a few. Borstals, that is. Oh, Nick. It's fine. No, it isn't. Because they're big on libraries and prison, aren't they? I mean, I can't see them closing those down, can you? Your prisoners' rights and all that. Oh, come on. Not on my birthday, Nick. <laughs> Sorry. Nice flowers, by the way. Thank you. Whose hanging basket did you bail for those from? You're embarrassing yourself. And you embarrass yourself on a weekly basis. I want you to know I'm going to build you the best rockery in Weatherfield. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> What's this you're going to watch, eh? 
I'm sure she won't mind. Look, can you all come here a minute? Faye! I can sell some of my stuff. This. Anything. Right, absolutely no way. You've already lost your laptop, which I swear we're going to get back for you, Word him. As soon as we can prove that your dad bought it, you. I kicked one of them. It must have made things worse. No, you have got nothing to be sorry about. OK, Faye? What about the house? The hearings tomorrow? <laughs> the house will be fine. I... I promise... I promise I will fix this. Yeah? Whatever feeling, the bank or this lot, whatever, look, we're still here. Aren't we? Yes? We stick together. OK? If you've been affected by Owen and Anna's story, you can visit moneyadviceservice.org.uk or call 0300 500 5000 for impartial advice. Calls are charged at a local rate. Mobile providers may charge more.